Now, whilst you stand on your feet, Psalm 139, verse number 13. I'm speaking for 20 minutes. Psalm 139. Psalm 139. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. So two words are there. You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth. And I like the last one. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book. Before one of them came to be. Help me to give the title of my sermon to a neighbor on your left and right and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. For the first time. For the first time. Of the series. Of the series. Part one. Part one. Why? Why? Did God create you? Did God create you? You may be seated. Amen. God has a plan and God has an agenda for everybody's destiny. Before you see a human being showing up, the human being has gone through two different processes. The first process is called the process of creation. And the second process is the process of formation. The process of creation is when the individual is made a spirit. Someone say a spirit. A spirit. Someone say a spirit. A spirit. Yeah. But then you can pour this water away for me just for a minute. Pour this water away for me. And um, say, somebody say a spirit. A spirit. Now, when you are made a spirit, you are not on earth. No spirit has been shipped over here. When you, are made a, when you are made a spirit, you are with God. When God made you, he breathed into your nostrils and you became a spirit. Now, the Bible says God made man in his own image. God made man in his own image. Now, the image, when I stand behind my mirror, what I see behind my mirror is my image. What I see behind my mirror is my image. And the Bible says God made man in his own image. And, and who is God? The Bible says, and God is a spirit. So when God made me in his own image, I was a spirit, you were a spirit. But when God makes you a spirit, as a matter of fact, you cannot just come and walk on earth. You cannot just come and perform your assignment. You've got to now be formed. Now when you are formed, he places you in a container. And the container is called your body. So this is your spirit. He made you a spirit. And God looked for a container. And the container is your body. I'm coming somewhere. Yeah. Just give me one minute. Put it inside for me. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. This one, part, how I wish I had Bruni baby a yet transparent. Nan kame the white na shemba tu nye biwa gana. So, when God made you a spirit, you were just like the white paper, and you were with God. Then God looked at you and said, "There is an assignment on earth, and nobody can fulfill it except you." That is the white paper. So this guy is supposed to be. A musician this guy is supposed to build a factory so that he will solve a problem on earth so god says now you are a spirit i'm come to ship you out but when god just throw you out like that you come you'll be moving like a shadow so god will look for a man whose name is called mr emmanuel will look for a, a woman whose name is called woman, Mr. Madam Emanuela. And God says, then now that you are a spirit, I will let you come to the womb of Madam Emanuela. So when you now come out of the womb, that's when he forms you and puts you in this container that is called the body. That's right. So when a person now dies, what happens? The spirit goes back to him and the body you pick up from here, we leave it over here. Jesus. I'm taking you somewhere. Listen, this series will open your eyes seriously. Now, with this spirit that you have over here, this is where your destiny is located. That spirit. Now, in that spirit, your profession is inside. Where you will be is inside. 
And the number of years you live on earth is inside. So inside of the uh, paper, so let's say the paper inside is still the paper I'm holding. Is that very simple? Yes, okay. So on this paper, your spirit, God, the number of years you will live on earth is over here. So look at it right now. Your eyes saw my unformed body. Because the spirit is the unformed body. But when he forms you, this is the container. So, when your eyes saw my unformed body, that's the spirit. What was inside? All the days ordained for me were written in your book. So, for my unformed body, my spirit, my days were written 90 years. Now, the days ordained is not only the number of years I will live on earth. It also signifies my destiny in life. Sir. Where I will be. How I will behave. And based on that, who you become is connected to now the family you will come out from. That's right. So why does one have the 30 things you never chose for yourself and God chose for you? Your mother, your father, your siblings, the hospital, the doctor, who brought you up, the midwife, the hometown, the village. Did you choose for yourself? No. So because God wanted you to be a great person, to change a whole family, he can let you come from a broke family. So that when you get into the broke family, you will change the afflictions of the broke family Amen. and make the family. Amen. So somebody will open their eyes one day and say, Prophet, why is that this person came from a rich family and this person came from a broke family? No! God knows that although you came from a broke family, he will make you very resilient so that you can survive. Jesus. And after you survive, you come out of it. Yes, and after Lord. you come out of it, you go and change that particular family. Amen. The person that was born from a rich family, maybe if they are born in a broke family, they cannot rise up and change their family. Yes, but do not know that you have the test came. God, why did I appear in Africa? You appeared in Africa for a purpose and for a reason. Why didn't you appear in England or America? It's for a reason. But well, the person in America too couldn't appear in Africa. It's for a reason. When you know this one, you never compare your life to anybody. Jesus. So your eyes saw my unformed body. And now it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So, and listen to me. Based on who God will cause you to become, he will make you short. He will make you tall. Right. He will make you fair. He will make you dark. All of them are part of where he wants you to be. If he made you slim, he knows what is he. he Jesus. The container is the body. The container is just the body. But the original you is this one. So although I appear in life as a short person, don't look at my shortness. Look at what is inside of me. Yes. Ah. Oh, 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 do. oh, do I appear in the way they want me to appear. Don't look at that one. Look at my original. Yes, and Lord. my original is this one. Jesus. That's why somebody can be born from nowhere, but they can change a whole nation. Yes, People will travel everywhere and go and check their hometown. Jesus. Why? If you check their body only, you might think they are nobody. But what is inside of them, let me tell you, and what is inside of you, your spirit is bigger than Ghana is bigger than Africa Jesus. it's bigger than your continent Jesus. it will transcend the borders of so yeah. if you know who you are you not compare yourself to anybody yeah. now pastor Daniel if God made me in his own image when when God was there and he was minding his business why did he think ah let me make a human being because God you are God all by yourself yeah. And if you are God all by yourself, why do you have to come and make me? And God, you know that when you make me, one day I'll be a stubborn boy. One day I'll disappoint you. But why did you disturb yourself to make me? Can I tell you why? Yes, sir. Oh, I said, can I tell you why? Yes, sir. There are about 30 reasons. I'm giving you about first five. Number one, how can he say he is God when he doesn't have anyone around him? That he can reproduce himself inside of them. Yes, because God was alone, hear me, with angels. And angels, let me tell you something about angels. Angels behave like robots. When angels wake up in the morning, their assignment is one. Somebody give me a microphone. 
I'm, I'm giving you a whole foundation. Yes, person, they get the microphone and just sit down as an angel. When angels wake up in the morning, their assignment is only one. Just say, holy, 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 holy are you Lord? Holy are you Lord? Holy are you Lord? Worthy to be worshipped. Holy, holy. So every day, angels, they are just shouting, holy. So angels, the worship they give to God is by default. Whatever the angel will do, the angel is shouting. Holy. Or number two, before an angel will come to your house to come and give you good news by an angel that is called Gabriel, that we call him Gabriel. Gabriel didn't just go to Mary. Somebody sent the angel. Who sent the angel? God. So the angel is behaving like a remote or a robot. But God wanted another entity that can worship them, worship him by virtue of reasoning. So that wow. they will worship him when they know why they are worshiping him. Because the angels don't know why they are worshiping him. They are only saying holy, holy, holy. But God wants somebody with consciousness that will say that, ah, I worship him because he's a good God. I worship him because he's a wonderful Jesus. God. I want, oh my God. So God wanted to create someone who can worship him. So, so we could choose not to worship him. We could choose not to worship him. That's why somebody wakes up and say, I am an atheist. I don't believe in God. And God also says, I don't care. Because whether you are an atheist Jesus. and you don't worship me, Jesus. I am still God. Jesus. My Godness is not determined by you. Jesus. I was already a God. But I only made you to know who I am. Hallelujah. Sit down for a minute. I'm telling listen to me, these nine weeks, your eyes will change, right. your mind will change, Amen. your heart will change. Amen. So now hear me. So he created someone who can worship him by reasoning, and they'll know why they are worshiping him. Number two, he wanted someone who, when he is there, he can go and talk to them because the angels are like robots god was always by himself he couldn't talk so when you read the bible it's not giving to me the bible says and when god made adam god will come in the cool of the day and come and talk with man because god was always bored and anytime he's bored he wants to talk to somebody but if you he, but if you are not like him he cannot talk to you so he made you like him so that you and him you can talk together can i declare right now I speak in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So, why will he make you in his own image if he is God? Give me the red chair. Give me the red chair. So, I'm getting for me Genesis 1, 1, 1, 2, I think 2 or 3 in the cool of the day. Put it on a chair for me. Oh my God. I have just 10 minutes to go. Jesus Christ. I know you want more, but I couldn't even bring quarter. So, um, sit down. He is God. Come. And every day, angels are making holy. Holy. Yeah. Yeah. Say holy. Holy. Yeah. Holy. Worthy Shh. to be worshipped. Holy. Shh. So God is God. But he wants somebody that he can look at and say, say, how are you doing? How are you? Say, I am well. I am well. So he created man so that he can have that conversation with. And when he created you, he didn't want you to be in heaven because he's a ruler. He wanted you to be a ruler. So he created a place that is called earth and says, now I'm staying in heaven, but I'm created somewhere and that place, I'm not in charge. You are in charge because why am I a ruler and you cannot be a ruler? Psalm 115 verse number 16. Psalm 115. Look at it now. Let's all read together. Let's go. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to man. So when he made man, he said, I'm in charge over here on, on, in heaven. Man, be in charge on earth. Be in charge on earth. But because man, I love you so very much. Every day I will wake up from heaven and I will come to you. Jesus. And we will talk. 
and we will chat mm. and i will ask you how are you doing so anytime now god sees man when god sees man man give god pleasure god is happy because you know now i have somebody who looks like me number two the next thing is this now god calls himself a creator someone say a creator a creator yeah he created us now god created us he created everything he says since right now me and these guys we are going to become one i'm going to create but when i create and i don't get them involved i will still be by myself so when god made man he said to man i've made you but before you came i've already made the moon and the stars and the animals then god said to adam adam have you seen all the animals i have made i made them but when i made them i didn't put a name on them so adam any animal you see put a name on them and the bible says god said to adam name the animals and the bible says and every to give it to me and every name he placed on them god said i'm okay with it so adam saw a particular animal it was moving meow 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 and adam said when i see the meow 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 i'll call the animal cat and god said yes a massa if you want to call it cat so shall oh look at the way you are clapping so look at it right now so the man gave names to all the livestock and the best of the beasts it's okay so adam is the one who named all the things god made thank you all the things that god man, uh, god made and you can also give to me um and every name he gave god said it was so look for you before you put on there so as a matter of fact when he made so although adam can even name by mistake but god said because we are in partners job can be matthias here so god now adam adam saw an animal and when adam saw the animal it was so fat and the nose was so tall and when the animal is moving adam will say that hey this one is so fat 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 and the nose no i say ellie 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 and then adam said i'll call it ellie fant and god said it's okay oh look at the way you are clapping so it is man so god uh, god trusts you he trusts you he believes in you he knows something about you so he said whatever i did put a name on it so we'll be together in creation this is the next point about man let me tell you if you don't know who you are that's when you succumb to trouble if you don't know who you are that's when the devil shows up you think the devil is but who told you let me tell you something another thing about man and after god made man the bible says and god he says now um he says he says he brought them look at it he brought them to the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature that was his name man of god god didn't take adam to the animal god god come go to the animal and give to adam what is the name you can give it to him? because now he's so happy that i've gotten a partner i've gotten a friend i've gotten people who just look like me because i've been by myself all the time now let me continue so when god made you he gave you some, so hear me this is man when god made you he gave you free will that is where problem comes what is free will free will is do whatever you want to if you want to sleep sleep now he planted the tree he said this particular tree eat this one but this one don't eat and he put man in there god could have blocked man from going but if he blocks you you are still a robot so he shows you the tree don't touch he says you can still go there because he gave you free will because C.S. Lewis says something. C.S. Lewis, one of the greatest writers of the 20th century said, the greatest gift God has given to man is the gift of free will for us to be ourselves. Because the moment he takes away free will from you, you are nobody. You are just a, a robot. 
Mm, 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 go to church. Rain or not. It is raining. Some people chose to come. Some people they didn't come. Free will. Come on now. So when God gave man the power of free will, he now said, I know I gave them free will. And because of free will, man is stubborn. Man can mafia me tomorrow. Man can do me bad. And God said, because I gave them free will, I just want them to act. And whilst they are acting, they will make a mistake. But because I love them so very much, and they are partners with me, when they even sin and come back to me, I will forgive them. Now let me tell you the secret. Why? You are different from an angel. And by the time I finish this one, I think I'll end on this one. Everybody here, from today, put it at the back of your mind. You are so precious than an angel. Oh. From where you started going to church, they didn't tell you this one. So you try, hey, as someone so okay. You are so powerful than an angel. You are so wonderful than an angel. You are so great more than an angel. Give me Hebrews chapter 1, verse of 18, 19. The check for me. He says, Angels are ministering spirit. Let me start from there before and I'll come to this one and I'll finish on this contest. As a matter of fact, my introduction I brought, I couldn't touch it. I said, my introduction I brought today, I couldn't touch it. I don't know whether the nine week series will go. Hebrews chapter 1, verse number, it says, and don't you know that angels are ministering spirit? But if you have it, you can read it for me. Don't you know that angels are ministering spirit? I just want to begin the, the, that side. Today, I'm just showing you why you are powerful. Then on the third week, I will now show you. Listen, are not all angels ministry spirit self sent to oh oh are you not here sent sent to serve those if somebody serves you and them who is big who is big who is big <laughs> now the word ministry spirit the word ministry the greek is called diakonia and diakonia means an aid or a helper the maid in your house. What is the name? Aid or the house. Help. So angels are supposed to serve you. And hear me. Psalm 8 verse 1 going. Oh Lord our God. How excellent is your name in all the earth. What, what, what is man? You made him. You made him. Now look, look at me. What is man? You made him. Lower than angels. I'm about to show you something. Many people will buttress with, 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 with it with this point and say, Man is lower than an angel. I'm come to show you why you are powerful than an angel. What is man that you are so mindful of him? And son of man, he said, What is man? You are so powerful. You are so you've come in with glory. Now hear me. You made him a little lower than an angel. So, Prophet Daniel, if somebody lift up your hands, if I'm powerful than an angel, why did you make me a little lower than an angel? Can I show you why? Now, the word little lower than an angel is not in terms of power. He made angels in the heavens and he brought you on earth. So, since heavens are high, you are... So, it's not about low in ranking. It's about low in locations. So, let me prove to you. Let me prove to you. So, angels are high in heaven. We are in heaven. We are on earth. So let me now prove it to you. Once you are powerful. He says, you made him little lower than angels. But now, you have crowned him with glory and honor. Ah, first service, are you not here? You have crowned him with glory and honor. Shh. Let me also prove again the, 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 the next verse. The next verse. Thou, uh, thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. You have put all. all is it inclusive of angels? Yes. So all things. Angels are part. You have put all things under his feet. It means all things. Including angels are under us. Yes. Let me go back. Now. Now take, 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 take from that side. So. So the reason why you are powerful than an angel, number two, is this. Because he gave you free will, he knows you can sin. And because he loves you, 
when you go to him, he will forgive you. So let me give you the difference between angel and man. There was a guy in heaven. The whole ministry of heaven, the music ministry, his name is called Lucifer. Do you know him? A great guy. That guy, Lucifer, when he moves his hands, organ will play. When he moves the right hand, trumpet will play. When Lucifer jumps, it will be drums. He reflects with light. One day I will show you who Lucifer. Lucifer, Lucifer had deep, powerful guy. The one day, since he's in charge of the choir, God is the one they bring the worship to. Okay, God, go and sit on the chair again. So, so holy, 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 holy. So holy. Lucifer, come. You look like, like you look like you look like an angel. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> So, so whilst the God is taking the worship, Lucifer is in charge of the angels. So, holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. Are you then, then the worship will come from the angels, and Lucifer will project it to God. So, where God is, has a lot of light. So, the light from God is always reflecting on Lucifer. So Lucifer said, ah, every time they say holy, everybody say holy. Holy. It comes to me first, then I give it to him. Then why don't I take it for myself? So Lucifer did a coup d'etat and took one third of the angels. So all the people here, Lucifer took you. Then the one third of the... <laughs> so Lucifer come. So they said now, when we are bringing the worship, when, when they bring it, I will take it. I will not give it to him. So this is how Lucifer came about. Then God said, hey, me, I am God. He lifted, I'm a jealous God. Listen, what God, listen to, let, let me tell you. One day I will teach you, everybody says sin is sin. But I'm, no, I'm telling you something. Every, 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 every day, people say sin is sin. But sin is not sin. There are some types of sins. You, you, you are gone. The, the first sin that one day I'll teach you, the first that is dangerous is when you take God's glory. He will kill you instant. That's why I'm very afraid when testimony comes and says, say the testimony and let's praise God. The day you think you are the owner of the testimony, God will choose somebody from nowhere and pick them and... Last Friday, people say, Pastor Daniel, the way God has blessed you, after church, you stand on the compound, speaking to people. You are down to earth. I said, do you know something? Because without God, I am nothing. He's only using me to be a blessing to you. The day I think I am who I am, and I move away from God, you just say, I pick from you. I drop to another. And you can never go to God and ask him any question. That's right. So God, look, look at the Bible. It says, I'm a God. I am a jealous God. Listen, any time the people of Israel, look at any time God wants to kill them. What, what do they do? When they go and serve another idol, God will open the ground and do what? Hey, taking glory. Do you know the time God wanted to kill David? When David slept with Bathsheba, God didn't kill him. But the time God wanted to kill him is when David numbered the people. And God said, hey, uh, now you have got a big army. You have become big. So you are numbering them to show that how powerful you are. Yes. Look at you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill everybody. And God started killing people until David built an altar. Mm. When he killed Bathsheba, when he slept with Bathsheba, God didn't kill anybody. Baby. So, when Saint Lucifer took it, and God said, I've taken you out. You are no more with me again. Move off and go away. So, the question is now why, why you are powerful than an angel? The last one, then I will pray. Lucifer with the one third. When they came down, have they repented again? No. Has God forgiven them? No. The reason why Lucifer has not repented is because he doesn't have good consciousness. But Adam, when he sinned, he repented. God forgave. Mm. 
That's why Lucifer is still Lucifer up to now. So a human being, you have the ability to re be on your feet. Thank you. I said I didn't do one of my introduction. I didn't do one of my introduction. So in this series, these are some of the things I'll be teaching you about. Number one, the origin of man. Number two, why are you here? Why God created you and why you were born? Number three, why did God give you a purpose on earth? The next one, the, the things that are done early part of your life, that can alter your destiny for good or bad. And some of them are what I told you from Wednesday. Who gave you a first bath? Who was the first person who cut your hair? The umbilical cord, who cut it? Where did they bury it? The placenta you came out from, where did they bury it? Who gave you that name? What was the reason for that name? Who touched your forehead? Who touched your face? Who was the first person who gave you a gift? Who was the first person who gave you money? These things can alter your destiny for good or bad. Let me, I'm, I'm giving you points. These are points of things I will teach. Now, and then and the, number five, the nine pointers to discover your purpose. Number six, purpose and destiny killers. And the next one, purpose and destiny helpers. What, what is a destiny helper? M -m Many people normally say, I need a destiny helper. I want that man to help me. Now, there's more to a destiny helper than a human being. There's more to a destiny helper. I, I, one, let me give you another, one, one form of destiny helper. One form of destiny helper, can I tell you? Sir. It's change of environment. Change of what? Environment. Sometimes when God wants to do something in your life, he will pick you from somewhere and drop you to another place. Your ground, your ground, your ground is a destiny helper to you. Yes, sir. Ah, Charlie, you, 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 you see things. And hear me, in two weeks time, next two weeks Sunday, it will be a testimony day of good health. And we are coming here with bread and water. He says, I will, bl I will bless your bread and water and I'll take the sick sicknesses away from you. Man of God, sickness and disease is not somebody who has diabetes. Sickness and disease is anybody who is deformed in their destiny. Jesus. If your destiny is not where it's supposed to be, your destiny is deformed. Sure. That's why one day Jesus Christ says something. Check for me to be look or something. He says he told them to heal the sick and to uh, heal the sick and to, um, to pray for people who have diseases. Yes, I'll give it to me. He used two words: disease and sickness. And I will show you. From when we were born, they they told you all sicknesses are diseases, right? Sickness is the diabetes. Disease is deformity of destiny. Jesus. God, God, for me. When, when we told them to, he told them not to take staff. He told them not to take money and go there and pray for the people and they shall be free. It's there. Check for me. Church. So hear me. On that day, second, today, Sunday, not this, this one, the third one. So next week, Sunday, the next one. Testimony day of good health. And now good health is not about diabetes. It's not by pressure. It's about deformity. If God, if in case my destiny has been aligned somewhere, take me back to that place and position. Jesus. Driving all diseases and cure. Listen now, I told you it's supposed to be disease and, and sickness. Before you put on the premise on there, you can check it from KGV version. The sickness and disease. It mentioned two words. Yes. Or you can check the next verse. It, it might be there. Check the next verse, it might be there. He used two words sickness and disease. That's when, Prophet Daniel, what is the disease? Someone say disease. Disease. Say disease. Disease. Okay. Now, disease, let's divide the word into two. Someone say this. This. Say is. Is. Prophet Daniel, what's this? This is called anti. So, when you have grace, opposite of grace is what? Grace. What? what, what? Opposite of, of disgrace, opposite of grace is what? Disgrace. Encouragement. Opposite of encouragement is what? Discouragement. So this is anti. So this is opposite. Good. Then we have ease. Someone say ease. Ease. What's ease? Ease is comfort. 
is his well being, is his well done. So when I have disease, is the opposite of my ease, the opposite of my comfort. Jesus. That's why we call it disease. Yes, Lord. Oh, look at it. NIV. So what's the test? Look, look 12. Look, look, look 9. The same place. I think the, the NIV. No, she plays NIV or the KGV. It's not except for me. Yeah, fast. I, I, want, I preach by drive by shooting. When I see something, I have to go through it. Look at the 9, verse 1 and 2. NIV. Thank you. Let's go. Sorry, you know, when you are preaching, you know Bible too much. That is the trouble that comes. So sometimes forgive my media people, right? Because me, anything I see, I have, I have to, because I have to prove it to you. So Jesus called the twelve disciples. He gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. Verse two. Uh huh. He sent them out to preach the kingdom and to heal the sick. If you told them to cure disease, why are you adding sickness? Which means sickness and disease are totally different. Jesus. So second Sunday, one, two, tomorrow one, the next one. Church, testimony day of good health, bread and water. That's right. Bread and water. It says, you shall take it, give it to me, bread and water. I feel Leviticus announced that, and I told me, Charlie, I like Bible. I chew Bible like water. I like Bible. A prophet with no Bible, testimonies will not come. That's the secret. That's why when we speak here, answers appear. Because I sleep in Bible. Charlie, page answer Kosro. You shall look, let's all read together. Let's go. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. That's lift up your hands. It's okay. So we use the bread and water to mix the two of them: sickness and disease. Church, I'm telling you. In the deformity. Jesus. A deformed person is not a person with a physical defect. It's a person with a defect of destiny. Let me prove to you. Have you to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Simple, simple, simple. Simple, simple, simple. It's now. Give me the picture of a man. His name is called Steve Wonder. Give me a picture of a man. His name is called Steve Wonder. I come to show you the difference between sickness and disease. And somebody can be strong... But the, their destiny is deformed. Give me Steve Wonder. Lift up your right hand. If you are supposed to be great at a particular age and you are no more, you are, you are not great at that age, there is a deformity. Jesus. In the course of the series, oh, okay, whilst all your mommy talked to us, so, um, then, then there's a title I will work on. It's not all over. How to realign and reverse back to your original. Yes, you can't change another title I would do. You can't change where you are coming from, but you can change where you are going. Jesus. So that you can use it to go and check, change where you came from. That's right. If you came from a broke, do you know this man? He's a multi-millionaire. Physically, he's blind. But he has discovered his destiny. It has made him millions. So, he is not diseased in destiny. Right. Although he's blind, he's fulfilled his destiny. Yes, sir. Now, now, there was a scientist in the UK, Hawkins, a scientist, physicist, an amazing guy. You know him? He was like a, veg a, 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 a vegetable man. G give me the picture of Hawkins, 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 Professor Hawkins, Hawkins, Hawkins. You see how the man is. A powerful scientist. He, he, he talks by a woman, woman, a woman. But he was a powerful scientist. He died just a few, 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 few years ago. Physical, physical life will tell you, if he's deformed, he can't fulfill his destiny. But his name is in the archives of the world. So to discover your destiny and work in it, you are not sick. Yes, sir. How, having to say this, this American motivational speaker, the guy that when they gave birth to him, he didn't have um, neck, neck, neck. That he didn't have legs and his hands are here. He's all over the world. Another person has legs. Another person has hands. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. So, listen. No, no. This is to show you that. Don't look at this. Look at. Spirit. Can I declare? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. 
Oh, give it to me. Ebia waha. Who expected testimony be? By virtue of the grace of God. Jesus. By virtue of the anointing. Jesus. I drop it to you right now. Amen. Shut, I receive it. I receive it. First, you stand there. So, so lift up your hands. Make some tight or you be treaty. I'm watching your appetites. The types of people you need. The types of people you need to avoid. What train your purpose? Now, after you discover your purpose, how do you water your purpose? Give me Prophet Hawkins. I'm waiting. Types of people who rose up and they shook off the dust of their destiny and moved high. This is Prophet Hawkins. Look at him. Do other pictures of him? Look at him. He moves by Adibi Ewahona and then coin, 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 coin. But he discovered his purpose. Don't let anybody use this one to laugh at you. Yes, sir. Don't let anybody use this one to laugh at you. Unfortunately, they came, they saw our color, and they said this color is black, and they gave another color that is white. I'm telling you, the person he come. Have you seen any white person who, whose color is like this before? No. I said, have you seen any white whose color is like this before? No. The white people are their color like this. No. And when, and when they were attributing hell and Satan, they made Satan look like black. And God became white. So that we know I'm not black. I am spirit. Jesus. I'm not black. I am spirit. Yes, I am more than my blackness. Yes, Don't Lord. use my blackness to bring me down. Yes, I am Lord. more than black. I am a spirit being. Jesus. Because in the spirit, there's no black. Yes, there's Lord. no brown. Yes, we are all the same. That's why when you go to Hollywood, Black people are doing well. Yes, sir. And the white people too are doing well. Because when you get to Hollywood, it's about your talent, not your color. That's, That's right. why Denzel Washington will make billions and make millions because he has the talent. If it was about the color, he couldn't have been. Tyler Perry has, has taken over. Recently, he wanted to buy the entertainment channel BET. They blocked him. He was wanted to buy it for 3 billion US dollars. A black man. You're about to rise to a level. You're about to rise to a level. Jesus. You're about to rise to a level. Jesus. Listen to me. One day you wake up in Ghana. And you combine all the all the 500 billion cities we owe. You say you are you are you are paying off the debts. Yes, you are loaning the country with that. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Then you take over. That's I right. prophesy that grace over your life. Amen. Is coming. Listen, you are about to open business. That's professor. You, you look at him. But he was a powerful scientist. Oh, just a few years ago, yeah. Two, three years ago, pa. Check, 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 check yes, I think two years ago. Let me tell you, you'll be in Ghana. You start a company. You employ white people. That's right. Europeans. Jesus. Americans. Jesus. Arabs. Yes, Lord. Chinese. Jesus. They will come to your office. Yes, Lord. And they say, Yes, Amasa. Yes, Lord. I push you to that realm. Amen. Let your businesses do well. Amen. So fire. Fire. Say hey. Hey. I'm bigger than my background. I'm bigger than my background. Don't use my background don't use my background to disqualify me to disqualify me i am a spirit i am a spirit lift up your hands jesus people walk to testimony city and say prophet daniel when i when, when i got to this church i didn't know who i am but a few years down the line their life changes because my assignment is to resonate something inside of you yes sir my assignment is not to come and stand here prophesy your mother's name is quite joe and i hear them is to bring you something. Yeah, prophecy is part of the job. Yeah, it helps you to realign. But prophecy without who you are, you go home and fight for no reason. That's right. But you move to a realm of power. Amen. Move to a realm of elevation. Jesus. You are bigger. And hear me, can I give you this one? Yes, sir. You are bigger, you are bigger than your greatest mistake. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear this one. I said, you are bigger than your greatest mistake. Amen. That business you are starting. Jesus. It's about to take off in shape. Amen. It will work well by fire. Amen. So it will work well. It will work well. 